Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we have jumped planets. Let's have a look at the star map here. The uh, Jade Falcon Devout have been um, doing great work here, keeping uh, a lot of planets in the hands of Jade Falcon. Even expanded a bit, but we're right here right now. And we're going to attack Clan Wolf on this planet. Um, I made, some, made a few changes. So if we look at the mech bays... Um, some people are talking about the loadouts of, oh yeah, I got to get these guys repaired. Uh, the loadouts of the Griffin and the Strix. Let's first do this, just so I don't forget. Um, so I made a few changes to them just to see what we could do. So let's repair this and get a double heat sink. That should only take a day to fix. Excellent. And Storm Crow. Let's refit this guy. So, yeah, I went a little bit different with them, um, just because I wanted to see um, how these are actually going to work out. Not convinced that they're the right loadouts, not by any means, but uh, I'll show you, show you those guys in a second. But the first thing I did with, is to address the um, situation of the Lance, is the white was really, really slow. Although it had uh, four ER medium lasers and an LRM-10 on it, it was still always like slow. Um, I think it was pretty much ineffectual most of the time. So I changed it slightly. We took out the 145 core and we put a 180 in. So let's have a look real quick here. So we got the 180 core in this guy now. So we lost a little weight because of that. But what I did is I took out the weaponry and put in four medium pulses. Um, so now it's gonna be able to close with the enemy a little faster. Pulse lasers for accuracy. So that's kind of how I went with this. So he's going to be, um, originally he was designed to stand back with the Jenner and fire from a distance. Now that he's not, now that he's not needed for that role, and I'll show you why in a second, um, we're going to put him up with the adder in the front line. So it's a little bit faster. I was really hoping to get a mask in here, but we just don't have the weight for it. But I think it's fast enough. Now the first thing I did is I tackled the Griffin. We had um, SRMs, uh, like three, SR three streak SRMs in this guy, plus three medium pulse lasers. So I changed this guy to the LRM build and I put the command console in here instead of the other mech. Um, we got the feral lamellar in here so it takes less damage from a distance. Um, but it's got an LRM 50, 55 right now and about just a little over 12 turns of firing. Uh, Warfare suite. Um, dropped the engine core down to a 245. We don't need to move as fast. And I put a couple of ER mediums in his backups now. We are overheating uh, a fair bit if we fire everything, but the ER mediums are really backup weapons, so it's mostly going to be LRM long range firing. Now we don't have a lot of uh, precision ammo, we've only got one ton of LK ammo, so I'll save that for when we really need it, but uh, for the most part we just have regular LRM ammo. Um, the command console, console itself is really good to share um, info with the Lance, so at a distance it's going to really help out everybody else. Um, so this mech is designed for far range combat, I mean it's not optimal, Obviously, you want I, I still kind of want the Griffin to get in close, but I um, just want to try something a little different. So this guy's going to be long-range firepower. And then with the Strix, I was I battled for a long time figuring out what to do with this guy. And this is what I settled on. We took out the command console, obviously, because we moved it to the Griffin. But I put an improved um, uh, fire control system in, which gives us a 15% modified call shot. Um, enhanced imaging, plus one accuracy, and minus one recoil with weapons, plus two maximum evasion pips, so it's going to be pretty evasive, plus four initiative, so that's kind of good. But I went with three ER large lasers on this side and two ER mediums on this side. Now, it's a heat beast for sure, but we got the TTS weapons in here. We got bonus accuracy from this, and we got plus one accuracy, plus two accuracy, plus I put a weapon mount on this side, the extra one that we picked up. Uh, for the large lasers, so it's going to be super accurate. Put the feral lamellar on, and I lowered the core to a 215. So this guy is really slow, um, 58. But this guy is really just designed to stand back and just hammer people from a distance. So um, 9210. All we have to do is cycle off an ER medium every once in a while, and we should be good to go. This is going to be. These three lasers are going to be super accurate. So I'm hoping to pull a lot of legs, maybe do some headshots, things like that with this mech. So we still got full armor and everything. So you know, we'll just have to see how it rolls. All right. So that's kind of what I did. I left the main lance how it was. So we're going to just 
take one day and get our mechs fixed because I want to get in with the mainlands first today, I think. And we're going to do an escort mission against Clan Wolf. So there's a bunch of missions we can do here today. Uh, what I want to start off with, though, is to protect the mechs, 521 Salvage. Um, but before we do that, one thing we always forget to do, or I always forget to do, is to go into storage and find out what kind of mech parts we need for heavy mechs. So, um, we've got Hellbringer uh, parts, Orion, Black Knight, Murex, we've only got three, Hellfire, we got four, Night Gear, we got two, I thought we had more than two of the Night Gears, maybe we have a different type of Night Gear, I don't know. Quick Trial, we got three, Hellbringer Prime, we got two, and the other Hellbringer, we got three, so it's five. Um... Catapult 2C, no, Orion 2C3, um, Cataphract Pirate, yeah, so we're not really, with the exception of the Hellbringer, we're not really close to finishing anything, unless I'm missing something here, Black Knight, yeah, not really, Assault, we've only got the one uh, Banshee part, now Mediums, we've got a bunch, um, Hell Spawn, we've got parts of, not, I mean, it'd be nice to get a couple more mediums. We got Shadowhawk 2C parts. Um, 2C1 and 2C, because, oh yeah, 45 and 55. I guess, it, I mean, if we get, uh, you know, another medium mech, we can always replace the Adder or the Grinner or something. Most likely the Grinner will replace. Um, I'm hoping it's a um, Omni mech, though. They're a little easier to repair. Don't have to worry about losing critical components which end up costing us a lot of sea bills. Um, Wolverine parts, um, there's so many different like versions of these now. There's the gorilla we were talking about, Mad Cat, we've got three parts. Um, Hatchet Men, like look at, I mean there's so many, so many now. All right, well we'll just have to, Mad Cat 3X. So I don't know if that's individual from the Mad Cat 3, or if they will count as the same. Who knows? Let's just get in here and hammer people. Bushwhacker parts, we've got four, five. Bushwhackers would be nice. We picked up a whole bunch one mission, but then never got anything out of it. I thought, oh yeah, gauntlet, we got six parts of a gauntlet. So, I mean, let's hope we get Let's hope we get some more here. All right. Got a good idea of what we need. So let's hard rock this here. All okay. right. Protect the mechs. Against Clan Wolf. These guys really hate us. So I'm going to accept this. And main lance is in. We're ready to go. So let's deploy and get this done. Okay, so this mission is totally a uh, freeborn kind of uh, lance mission, drop in and run interference. All right, keep your eyes open and watch All right, your let's sensors. do this. Watch your sensors. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Aye, aye. Okay. So I think I want to have a look at this Storm Crow. That um, large improved heavy laser is not... Well, I mean, it's doing okay. I think it's the variability of damage at, at range that's bothering me. Standing by. Um, let's get into here. I don't want to go too far in. Okay, we got sensors up. What are we looking at here? Mad Cat 3, okay. Evan Jaguar, 65 tons, nice. Shadow Cat? Two Shadow Cats, okay. Um, yeah, let's just pot shot him. Ooh, lost audio there for a second. What's up with that? Yep. Let's stick together here. Roger. Same thing, paramedium pulses, firing. Negative damage. 
Let's hope they don't detect us. There is a chance they might, though. And um, let's leave this guy off just to save a bit of heat, but we're going to fire the rest. Okay, we pinned somewhere. Hopefully it was a leg hit. I think they know we're here. Giving them a little bit of the, hey, what's up? I'd like to get that mad cat back, that's for sure. I really hated losing that thing. Maybe they don't know we're here. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. All right, how good are we here at this guy? Pretty darn good. His leg is damaged, eh? So, I'm just going to do this. It's really crappy chances to hit, but we're going to take it. Oh, yes! Are you kidding me? Dude! Dude, you get to take his other leg. That was awesome. All right, let's see what these guys do. The Evan Jaguar, I'm not sure if we have a... We might have one part. I think I vaguely remember fighting those guys. Shadow Cats, I know we got a few parts of, I think. These guys are, what, 45 tons? Or maybe I'm wrong. It's nice to finally get into some solid clan fighting. Come on, guys. You know you can't see me. You know you can't. Cause we got the juice, man. We got the juice, I'm telling you. This Evan Jaguar is moving in. He's a little bit thirsty for some juice. We got some juice for him coming up. Um... I don't know. I think I want to, um, I think I want to do this. Standing by. Blockade's still going to get to go before this guy. I think I just want to see what they're up to. They've most likely detected me by now. Let's not get to where... Let's get in the trees if we're not going to move very far. Uh, definitely want a Warlord in this turn. Going after this guy's leg. Just for that extra little bit of precision firing. Oh, there it is, folks. Okay, we may have a Mad Cat after this mission, guys. So the question is, do we go after the uh, Ebon Jaguar or do we smoke this guy real quick? Let's just find out where they go here. See what they do. This guy's probably going to push. If it was me, I would. But then, you know me, I'm always in like the thick of the battle. Yep. Nope, that guy did not move, so... Let's put one in straight in the face of this guy. Just running. Got it. Um, yeah, he's got a goss. Let's make sure we hammer this guy. Firing. Did we miss both? I think we missed both. At 80%. We missed them both at 80%. Well, good god damn. Um. Let me come down into here. Unless he jumps, he's not going to get behind me. And let's give him a bad day. I think we're going to try and pull his leg off. I don't want him getting behind us, so let's do this. Wow. Looks like we're afraid to shoot this guy or something. I think I want to get down here. 
I want to get away from that uh, Evan Jaguar. Yeah, we're just going to take this. We're just going to fire. All right. I think most likely, yeah, we're going to be going before him next turn. So, um... Just move back. Let's burn through this guy. And firing. That should be it. No. Really. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. It's not having a good day though. It's for damn sure. He's definitely not going. Maybe the other Shadow Cat? Okay, at least he's not a Gauss Rifle version. Ooh. Really? Standing by. Can you get out of the sight of that guy? I don't know what he's got. That's the thing. I'm kind of worried about him doing a heavy shot on us here. Uh, let's just move back. On the move. Full speed. I, I'm just terrified of him coming down and just being a very bad person to us. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Firing. Scored a critical hit. Okay, Mockingbird should go before both of these guys? Yeah. So we got a turn to deal with these two. Let's do that. Going to multi-target. Yeah, he's almost gone. So let's put these on B and those on A. And fire. So we should be able to knock this other guy down, which will seal his fate next turn. Yeah, he's going down. Critical hit, Commander. So that's most likely going to be the end of him. Um... Now, question is, want to tackle this night gear now, or we wait a turn? I think we wait a turn. Um, let's just hammer him. CT. Set this night gear up for a kill. Sorry, Evan Jaguar. I keep calling him a Nike here. I'm not sure why. Partially because probably I'm an idiot, but that's okay. At least that's what my kids would say. Roger that. <laughs> I expect nothing less from them. Commander? All right, let's move over here. Brace. And the same thing. Let's get right up against the wall if we can. Confirm. Just so he's not going to have a harder time spotting us. Okay, Griff. Um, let's lead the charge, buddy. Side shots. Side shots for days. 850 armor. Not that bad. What's the offensive push on this guy? Actually pretty damn good. Oh! He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Okay, let's get you um, here. I think it's probably going to be the best target. We'll get a bonus for being up high. Firing down on him. Going to go this route and fire. Both legs. Oh, blockade, man. You're a killer. All right. So, let's not get too cocky. That was pretty well played. It was a smart idea to go up to the Shadow Cats first, I think. Uh, Griff, almost all the way down. Mm, no 
get a I want to get you um, once we activate this we're gonna maybe get reinforcements I don't know I know where they're gonna come from but Waiting for orders. I don't know who I want to be where just yet I think we can move on the guy in the water here then we got a guy over here and then we got two over here so Good to go. how far can you move not far at all because I decided to go up there like an idiot Okay, Griff, you're the fastest, so you're going to activate these guys when we're ready. Yep. Holding here. Acknowledge. So, how far can you go? You're our pinpoint damage guy. Let's just get down this way. We're going to cut across here. Okay, Griff. Let's moonwalk it back. Start this off right. Yes, Commander. Uh... I want to move. I don't want to be standing still, just in case these guys are fast. Commander? Let's get over in the trees. Commander. Let's do this. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Yep, we got a blocking force. So what are we protecting here? Orion 2C, a Night Gear, Huntsman, and a Warhammer 2C. These guys are going to be walking slow ass style. So let's get up, see if we can spot some shiz. So we've got an Arctic Wolf Prime, Storm Crow. Wow, we're getting some good mechs here. Gonna fire on this guy. He's the only guy I can really see. Oh, you know, maybe I'll take a back about that improved heavy laser. Maybe we leave it on there. I don't know, it's 72 damage at that range. That's pretty damn good. But then again, you know, that guy's standing in the water, and what do we got here? Ice Ferret, okay. Kit Fox, so not so bad. Not so bad. Lots of streaks on this guy, though. Um, yeah, let's give ourselves a little better chance to hit. A little bit more damage if we hit. Yeah, not so good. Hopefully the AC-20 can do some good damage. Um, we definitely want to move here. Maybe we can take advantage of the uh, first couple of hits on this guy. Once again, it's warlorded up. Firing. Okay. Man, this guy's a killer with the ER mediums. Duce is going to be taking hits from the uh, streaks here for sure. Let's give us a better chance to hit. Just marginally better, but we do land one. Oh, 88. Ah, oh, we almost got him. I think that was probably a CT hit. So we're going to have some heavy firepower from the mechs that we're guarding too. As long as they don't shut themselves down. They didn't even move. Whoever that was that shot. Probably the, uh... No, it wasn't the... Ooh! Ooh. Well, at least we got some good firepower for a change. Crazy ass damage. The oh, night gear didn't move. You need to get the hell up there, Griff. Okay, maybe we can. How's this guy? We don't know where this guy's hit. I think we try and finish him up. Let's fire on him. I know we can get back shots with the other guys, but that kind of negates all the firing up from the front from before. There we go. I think it was a CT hit that we had. So, the reason why I didn't go with these guys on his back, like I said, is that we did a lot of damage to his front, and if we'd attacked his back, it would have negated all that work we did. On my way. Double 
when we can be using that on this guy. Oh. See what I mean? Like, we would have missed all that damage. Not let, let's not let these guys even get within sensor range if we can avoid it. It won't, not quite. That hit something good. Sure did. Waiting for orders. Position confirmed. Let's suppress this guy. Um uh, Looks like this guy's taking damage to the head, so let's see if we can take his head clean off. Oh! <laughs> That was a head hit. I know it was. <laughs> it's too bad we didn't get the chance to see that one, though. That would have been awesome. Oh, come on, guys. You can finish him up. We weakened him so badly for you. Oof. There you go. Here you go. Problem is, I don't think this mech at the back is going to move now. I don't think this guy's gonna move. <laughs> this kid fox is like, ah, maybe I should just go home. As much as I want to fire, gotta come back here. Get this guy moving. Yeah, maybe he'll see us here. I don't know. I don't want to turn my back just in case this guy's the uh, Gauss rifle version. Yeah, a couple hits. Take it. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Finally. Oh. There we are. On my way. Just had to get up just a little bit. We're gonna kill this guy with extreme prejudice. I guess prejudice, not prejudiced. What's up, buddy? Just want to see your face when you die. Just let you know it's Jade Falcon that killed you. Target down. Sure as frig is. Let's just get back over here. Keep these guys moving if we can. God, it's going to take forever. It's worse than vehicles for crying out loud. You know what? Um, I may cut this just because this is so damn painful. I'm just going to position my mechs here uh, along the roadway. And then probably what I'll do is I'm just going to let these guys go. And I'll cut back when they're in close enough. Um, yeah, when they're just about at the uh, circle, I'll cut back. All right, guys, so it looks like these guys, the Hunchman anyway here, he's about to go out. So let's get ready for this. Uh, who knows what kind of battle we got coming up here. So let's just get into position. No We've got a turn here. Let's get Duce up over here as well. Get some punch in close. Griff can't go too far. Let's just stay in the trees here. Just need to make sure this guy keeps moving. The night gear has been moving really slow. I know we're going through the trees and stuff, but dude, really. Let's get on this side. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, here they go. Oh, almost got out. This night gear is going to screw us, I think. Oh, he didn't go out. Okay, that's a bonus. That's a good. That's good luck for us. Um, we're just going to brace here. Um. You can sprint up here. Waiting for orders. So there's got to be one more Lance coming. Okay, he's actually getting up here now. Okay, good. There we go. Looks like they're sending units to destroy our charges. Of course, because you know what? They couldn't have it that... Uh, Freeborn, we're actually defeating uh, Trueborn warriors. 
this guy's going to take two turns to get out, though, I bet you. Couldn't just sprint that last little way, buddy. That's all we need you to do. All right, so what are we looking at here? Stormwolf. Akuma, 45 tons. Akuma Matata. Vindicator 6L, really. Oh, Shadowhawk 2C. Okay, we got uh, Shadowhawk 2C parts that we could get from this guy. So... This, this feels like a bad move to me. Thirty-two, eh? Twenty-nine for the Vindy. Okay, Stormwolf, not bad. So it looks like it's the Stormwolf. All right, let's just fire on him. Not to try to play aggressive as I normally do. Moving in right now could be very bad for us. Um, I'm not going to Warlord on this turn. I want to wait till we have a better chance to hit and max out the damage. Standing by. Stormwolf and firing. Okay. Taking some kind of damage there. Bet that hurt. Bet you did too. Yes, Commander. Yeah, really low chance. We're just gonna fire though. Oh, we hit with one though. Yeah, man. Ultra twenties for the win. Take that eighty damage. You kidding me? Enemies not moving. Maybe they can't see us. Are we not on sensors? Yeah, see, he's going to take an extra turn. We might not even be on sensors, guys. I mean, we're all ECM'd out here, right? So... Oh, my God! Welcome to the jungle. I almost... Almost feel sad for these clan wolf guys, but not quite. Uh, since they haven't moved, and we want parts, let's do this. Roger that. Okay, all they gotta do is survive one turn. Waiting for orders. Rolling. Let's see if we can get you to finish this guy up. Oof. That's a kill. Sure as frig is. Yeah. Um. Oh. Akuma Matata means I'm going to hit you with an Ultra 20. Two hits. Point stand in the open if you don't have to. They can't see us. They cannot see us. The objective is secure. See you guys. Jade Falcon forever, buddies. Jade Falcon forever, buddies. Alright, let's finish these guys up. I'm really hoping we can get Shadowhawk 2C parts in our uh, our roll here at the end. Let's just move back. We do need to move, so let's just move over here. Let's go after this leg again. Firing. Oh, that should do it. Yeah, sounds like he went down. Let's get blockade on him now. 
So we could pick up a Mad Cat. We got like 521 salvage out of this. Yep. So we could pick up a Mad Cat 3. And we could pick up um, a Shadowhawk 2C. Okay, good start. Ready for order. Um, let's not move in too far. We don't need to. On it. Let's hammer this guy again. Nothing worse than dying from an Ultra 20 autocannon that you can't see. Okay, he's standing up. Wow. I'm convinced they can't see us. I told, I'm totally convinced they cannot see us. I don't even know why else they wouldn't be moving. Ah. Uh. What do you need? You don't even need to freaking move, guy. How do we do on this leg? No idea, but it's almost gone. I think we just go with the mediums. I don't want to overdo it. Well, the large has got a better chance to hit it, though. So let's go with the large and two mediums and fire. Ah, that was a torso hit. At least I think it was. Alright, firing away. And El Duce, why don't you just give him an Ultra 20 handshake? Oh, because you can't from there though, but probably can from here. On my way. Ultra 20 handshake. Oof. Somebody's wishing he stayed at home. Well, I'm sure all these guys did, but... So this fight here would have been a lot different if um, these guys could actually see us. Let's just move in and finish these guys up. And firing. This should be your kill, buddy. Getting that water. Hammer this guy. Wow, he's taking three Ultra 20 hits already. He's going down. Oh, maybe not. Time to get some better sensors, guys. There you go. Alright, let's go home. All right, contract payment increased by 30%. This is going to be more than enough to cover our damage. We barely took anything at all. Just to double check, look at the kills. Mockingbird and Blockade. These two, man, are going to have, they're going to be going into a shootout pretty soon. We should check out what their kill levels are at right now. No, this uh, El Duce has been doing pretty good with the Ultra 20 as well, so. Come on, Let's see what we got here. Lau is the experience, though. Look at all these pieces. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. All right, so we're going to grab a couple of these guys. Um, we want the 2C. Let's just wait and see what else is down here. I don't even know if we're going to get the Mad Cat 3. I don't even know if those will work together. ATM 9s. Plenty of other stuff. Flail, huh? Well, someone never got the chance to use that. I don't know who it was, but... Somebody never got a chance. LRM 20s we don't need. Uh, rotary 2s. 9 tons though. Or 11 tons, I mean. Articulated jump jet. Directional jump jets. E-cooling plus 3. I was thinking about buying one of these, but... Um, let's drop it in for now. Big engines, 330s. Well, maybe we should go for C-bills. 
can't run this company for free um, unless there's something else it's like a Nova CEWS I think we're gonna we're good here look at all these arms mask there it is okay we want that uh, but what do we want to give up for it what do we want to give up for it um, Equaling plus three, if I have to buy it, it's like, I don't know, like 700,000 or something like that in the store. So I'd rather not have to buy it. Let's grab that. Um, flight sensors, yeah, that's about it. And then ammo, which I'm hoping there's not a ton of. Well, it's not that bad. Okay, let's confirm this and see what we get here. Kuma parts, Evan Jaguar, one part, really? One, two, three, Mad Cat, three parts. Shadow Hawk. 2C part. We got one. Okay. Stormcrow. One, two, three Stormcrow parts. Vindicator. ATM 9. A couple of ERs. Micro laser again. Yeah. I mean, actually, that wasn't so bad, I guess. 73 million. Okay. So, a lot of stuff changing hands here. Yeah, we took like no damage on that one. I almost wish that was a four and a half skull. Okay, we did not get the Mad Cat 3. So I guess... It <laughs> wow, only... <laughs> only one mech took damage. <laughs> Those guys were punished. Oh my god, they got punished. Okay. Um, let's just have a look here at the star map. Now, this is just, you know, a rough estimate. Once again, this isn't exactly what's going on, but what do we got here? Uh, Clan Wolf 25%. So I guess someone's doing some work here. Um, we got anybody on that we know? Doesn't look like it. Collectors, Marauders, Rainmakers, Ravagers, Groovies, Marauders, Groovy. All right, uh, let's take another mission here then. Um, so let's go back and we got, see here, contracts. We got another. Three, three and a half, three? What is it here? Three and a half? Stubborn Surrender? I think we're going to take this one with our secondary lance. Let's go full salvage. We got the sea bills. We might as well do it. We don't have to worry about our financial report. I can't believe these guys didn't take any damage. All right, let's, so let's see how the second lance functions. So we want to put um, Shadowhawk in first. Let's put the Griffin in second, the white, and then our, where are you? Oh, no, sorry, Adder goes in here, Griffin goes in last. Right. Uh, so that's how we've been running Missile Mech at the end. So Shogun, Sundance, Six Pack, and Hannibal the Cannibal. Uh, okay, so let's deploy this and see how we do. Now, finally, uh, Shogun and Hannibal have both got Warlord, which is going to help out, uh, which is, I think, why they, we need to be in the heavier mechs here to increase the damage slightly. Now, this is a Missile Mech, so maybe it's not the best place to put it, but... These guys here are both pulse lasers, so it's not we're not going to be increasing damage very much with Warlord and these guys. So let's deploy this and get it done. Command Alright, these are supposed to be legacy mechs. Wow, I haven't played on this map in a long time. I remember I used to get this map all the time. Ah, Clint, Puma, something or other, Spider. Wow, really? Maybe they got reinforcements. This is supposed to be like three and a half skulls. Oh, that could be Ansazi. Could be. Could very well be. Let's see how fast we are now. Yeah, we're dog ass slow now. But we are a missile boat, so we don't need to be that fast. And the white, let's see how much. We gained a bit of speed in the white, which is good. I mean, it was like really slow before. Adder is still our sprint, sprint maiden. That's fine. We're going to use her for opening up advantage. And this guy is really slow too, which we expected. But once again, this is our pinpoint damage boat. Not necessarily the best mechs to be running with these, but it's all we have right now, unfortunately. So we will take it as it is. Understood. Moving fast. But look at the sight range, though. The plus 100, having that plus 100 sight range with this, with this uh, Griffin, it's awesome. Yeah, being able to detect these guys and fire at them long before they can actually do anything. 
is a huge bonus. Ansazi, yes, I was right. And a Clint. Okay. So let's fire on this guy. It's a 45 tonner. I thought these guys were 55. Wow. Okay, we're not going to fire. <laughs> not at 0.9%, we ain't. One thing about having that command module in there is we, we miss out on the Artemis ammo and the Artemis fire control system. But it does help everybody else out. I mean, look at their, look at their vision range. Nobody's sneaking up on us, that's for damn sure. Can't wait to get this in our heavy mechs. I really hope it isn't just these two. Because this would be a really shitty mission. Okay. Get up here. I'm thinking we just got two guys here. This is going to suck. Point nine? 6.2? 6.2. Yeah, I don't know. Don't think they got reinforcements. Oh god, really? No, I think it's just these two guys. Yep. Ready for orders. Ah, I hate you, RNG. Affirmed. Firing. Affirmed. The fact that these guys got lower armor too, right? So. God, we're going to get junk out of this. Oof. Did that say 99? Holy shit! What the fuck is this guy running? I gotta keep my mouth shut for Christ's sake. Holy crap. Stay in the trees. Stay in the trees. Uh, wow. And firing. We gotta take that leg. We should with a missile barrage. What the hell just happened? Well, Good to go. let's show these guys what we think of uh, crappy people that use melee. Whoa, really bad chance to hit. We're still going to Warlord it though. We want to get more hits than not. And firing. Can't do any more of your shenanigans now, you bastard. I really hope we don't lose that mech. That's uh good to go. Terrible. Confirmed. Firing all weapons. Let's take that other leg. There we go. Screw you, buddy. Yeah, they've only got two guys. Wow. Well, they only needed two. I mean, they killed me. All these bonuses to hit, and we can barely hit with this thing. Huh. What is up? Got it. Hi, you. Uh, let's just switch this over to LK. Got a bit better chance to hit and fire. Affirmative. Kind of 
kind of Clint is that? Where are you going, you chicken? Mech warriors, show them what you got. Uh, ER larges, ER mediums. Yes, Commander. Probably running an XL. So let's see if we can kill that XL. Roger, full speed. Oof, yeah. Goodbye. Copy that. Mech destroyed. Well, let's see how bad we gotta take it. Mission successful. 132,000, that won't, that won't help us at all. Wow, cord us. That was a right torso. Right and center, wow. Looks like Sundance is gonna be fine though. Find out here if we lost the mech. They don't see adder parts here. Nope, so we didn't lose the mech. Still took a crap ton of damage though. Medium X pulses, ah, yeah, they're inner spear, we don't want them. Plasma lances would be nice, but once again, we're not meleeing, so. Okay, XL engine. This is just a regular inner sphere exchanger. That's for sale. That's. We'll hang on to it. Prototype double heatsink kit. Got one of these already. Is there any prototype double heatsinks? Doesn't look like it. Yes, there is. So let's ditch the core. So that's the one big problem about right now with prototype double heat sinks. I would like to use the double heat sink kit, but I don't have prototype double heat sinks. This is like my first one. So without extra prototype double heat sinks, it's just not viable right now. So I'm going to try and keep collecting, but once again, like I said, it's not viable. This guy must have had a hell of a lot of melee damage. Uh, it's not viable until uh, we're able to get um more prototype double heat sinks now we do have a lot of client exchangers we got three five mech parts chaff crap really well regular double heat sink we can sell jump jet we can sell really god well well that's actually not that bad see what i mean about the the um omni max is that even if you core them like we don't, I don't have, like, all those pieces are, are, are integral, so I don't have to worry about replacing them with new ones. But the mask and everything, obviously, I'm going to have to do that, unfortunately. But I do have an extra mask lying around. We pulled one out of the Griffin, so uh, we do have that lying around. And even then, when you look at the tasks here, like, just barely anything, right? Back in, like, four days. All right, so we're going to advance. We'll take one more mission today. Um, once this adder's back can have a quick look at what our damage is here what our damage is so yeah the adder just have to replace parts here looks like a lot of them are integral parts so we're probably okay like the CT is all integral I think don't think we had anything special in there no we lost the mask uh, and an exchanger which we don't have ability to replace unfortunately because we don't have any But, let's repair this. Um, three tons left. This guy is running a little fast right now. So I think what we do... I don't know. We want to just put three clan heat sinks in for now. What's our heat efficiency? Actually, not too bad. So the mask, I think, was two tons, wasn't it? Um... We could go with a prototype double heat sink kit, but I don't want to... See, here's the thing. I don't want to put it in and then lose it. Um, clan mask. We've got a ton and a half left. Wait, why do we have a ton and a half left? Oh, because this was an inner sphere mask. That's why. So now we got a clan mask in. A little bit faster. Now, do we have... I don't think we have... We don't. We got some patchwork materials. Put that in the CT. Uh, and then, oh God, I hate to do this. 
maybe a little bit off the legs and then one CT front like that and we put a couple double heat sinks in let's not put them with the cooling pod actually is this this is unstable let's put them all on one side um, so let's go with that heat efficiency is 78 77 so not too bad not too bad at all um, yeah so we'll go this route with this guy should get us back to where we were yeah yeah we already replaced all that stuff okay 45,000 C bill so really nothing for that replacement we got lucky on there that was a massive hit we could have taken a lot more damage than that all right so we got one more day to wait here and we are back in black let's have a quick look just to make sure there's nothing that we missed I'm sure you guys are tired of me like going to launch and then realizing I'm missing component one of the mechs all right let's go I know I'm getting tired of it but when you got ADD it's just sometimes that kind of stuff just vanishes contested will capture a base uh, legal maneuverings local government the prisoner is an escort mission that's gonna take a little long scientific emergency escort mission raiding party local pirates defensive force which are ill-equipped to handle lots of mix mm. let's take a four and a half capture base I think we're more than ready for this one it is local government so we're not really sure what to expect but let's negotiate this and let's go up well we want full it is kind of a juice well yeah we got lots of sea bills let's go this way let's go this way and we'll flush these guys out I was hoping to pull off another mission with these guys but I think we'll wait for a bit uh, let's bring in our main lance here and E and F and then we want to go with Griff the stiff mockingbird El Duce and blockade and let's go blast these guys all right ancestral fortress huh okay let's do this okay so that's the fortress there and the enemy here and reinforcements back here and not a lot of cover well we got this hill we got some trees here yeah I mean let's stick together Hopefully they don't see us like the like it happened in the last mission. Let's just get into here. So I'm thinking uh, Mockingbird's mech. We need to start thinking about longer range weapons. Um, yep. That last escort mission with these guys. Copy. Just proving that the longer range weapons are going to be what we really want moving forward. Uh, the Ultra 20 is still a nice hammer here. Um, and it was hitting fair, at fair, just a fair amount at medium ranges. See if you can spot anybody here. Watch for enemy reinforcements, eh? The fuck does that mean, Darius? Means they're only going to have reinforcements. Is that it? Probably. I just want to brace here. I don't know if they're on the map yet or not. No, I think we can take the base. Let's get across the water here. Do it in one fell stroke if we can. Okay. And Luce. Yeah, it's nice being relatively the same speed here. Um, just because I don't want to, uh, if I decide to move it on a fast action, um, I want everyone to be there with me. I don't want to be leaving anybody behind. We can clump together, use our ECMs together. Cap this base. Orders. Acknowledged. Heads up, Commander. You got hostile contacts inbound. Yeah, 
it's a freaking vehicle. And I was hoping for a good mission here, guys. Four and a half skulls, really? Really? Should just leave him for Duce. Half armor. There better be some heavy mechs back there. I don't know. I'm not seeing anybody moving. Oh, another fulcrum. Really? <sighs> Getting shafted on the RNGs here, guys. Waiting for orders. RNGs just hates us today. On my way. Well, maybe not. Mjolnir. It's got half armor, though, so... No Back. biggie. Yay, one hit. Standing by. Let's just clear them out one at a time here. Thank God for those pulse lasers. Really great backup weapon. If you're ever wondering what to throw on a mech, pulse lasers, man. You, at least you're going to hit for some damage, you know? Or a large improved heavy laser. At least you know you're gonna hit for some damage, you know what I'm saying? Alright, see if you can take that fulcrum out, buddy. Buddy, let's get up right up here. Alright, full speed. Oh, we got somebody over here. Ah, uh, cataphract, 1E. Okay, we got pirate cataphract parts, so maybe we try and optimize taking parts from that guy. Well, at least we hit for 12. Better than nothing. So the Mjolnir is te technically a charger. Am I right? Is it Charger? Yeah. I think he's got an Ultra 10 over there. And an ER medium looks like. A tag looks like. So this Mjolnir has got bonus with Goss and PPCs. I don't know what kind of weapons it's got on it, but looks like he should be the guy that we should probably be pulling down. And we can't get on him. Oh, he's down there. Oh, I see what you did. I see what you did now. Um, Fulcrum. I don't have much. Commander? Rolling. Um, yeah. Wow. So bad. Yes, Commander. Let's go make that cataphract angry. Yeah, I'm firing. Firing. All the way. Aye, aye. 44, huh? Let's try and make sure we get this guy. Firing. Missed with both again. Got it. Fucker's jamming us with an ECM. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Um, yep. Yeah. There we go. That was a lucky hit. I will admit to that. Enemy unit destroyed. Trying to keep ourselves facing this way. We got split in half here. Uh, we can go against. Well, you know what? We got to really take that Mjolnir down. We can't have on the him on the hill behind us. Although this guy is presenting a nice juicy target at the moment. Yeah, blockade did piss him off a little bit. Oh, that was El Duce he was shooting at. That was a narc. It's a narc. I don't know what he's got. 
That's what bothers me, not knowing what he has. Eee, if he's melee, it's going to be bad. Let's shift our weight to this side. Let's just go for the kill. Wow. Let's just go for a hit, maybe? Just hit him? Or something? Commander. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Fry? Wow. This guy's sitting in here like, yeah, these guys ain't nothing. These guys ain't nothing. And at this moment, he's pretty much right. Firing. Ah, what the hell you were shooting at? Low-flying aerospace fighters, perhaps? That's pretty good chances to hit. We're just gonna fire. Oof. Everything hit. Scored a critical hit. Okay, let's see what they're up to. Yeah, not brave enough to move in, eh? What's the Mjolnir doing? Not a whole lot. Alright, well, we own this battle now. Simply because he cannot see us down here. Unless he's got missiles, which I know he doesn't. So, it's time. Wow, this guy's like... Really bad off. Let's not splash him. There goes that side. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Come on, bail out, buddy. Yeah, you... Standing by. A lot more brave than I thought. Uh, let's just get Tuck in here. I don't want you shooting. I'm there. And same with you. Just gonna Tuck in here. Roger. Orders. Let's get Sniper Bob in here. All right, and let's see. Don't know how much he's got left in his leg. Think that's going to be enough? Roger that. Oh, <laughs> he's such a sniper, that guy. That's what I was, for this entire game, I've been hoping that Blockade would turn into that sniper mech. Uh, let's just hold for a second. I want to get everybody moving together. You too. And then we're going to move Griff. Uh, let's get you to here. Alright, into there. And then blockade. Let's get ourselves over here. Alright, we are ready for this guy, I think. He has no idea that we're here, though, I don't think. But he will in a minute. Let's not give him ter first turn of shooting. So that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna offensive push this. Let's go after this leg. Yeah. Lousy. Now, I don't know if we got the speed. We don't have the speed. That's fine. Let's just try and stick together if we can. Let's make sure we're in the trees. Don't know what that guy's got on him. Yeah, trees. Let's move. Two storm crows, two Novas versus a Mjolnir with no armor. Oof. Yeah, see? Guy's deadly. I'm here. It's gotta be a walk. We gotta get our stability back. Warlord, confirm. Our offensive push. Let's go for the leg. 
Eh. If we get the leg, we do. If we don't, if he dies, I don't care. It's firing. Oh. Okay, slowly getting reduced. Yeah, we gotta have to hammer this guy. Just gonna fire straight out. Okay, you did hit with one, that's good. What do you need? I need you to do something to this guy, please. There we go. Roger. See if we can take that leg. Sweep the leg. We should be able to, I think. I copy. Yeah. Critical hit, Commander. Blockade the sniper. This guy is still very dangerous, though. Not if he's getting up, he's not that much dangerous. Not that much dangerous? Not that dangerous? Alright, let's get in here. See if we can take this other leg. Get some salvage off this guy. Oh yeah. There it is, folks. Ah, we got the torso too. Oh well. Well, that was a really lousy mission for salvage. Mission successful. All right. Well, 199,000. That should cover repairs. Yeah, we took a bunch of hits in the storm crow. Wow, she got hit in the head too. Crazy. All right. Um, well, I grip did really well today with kills. We'll have a look at kills too when we're finished this. 13,000, or sorry, 1,300 XP, which is nice. Cataphract pieces. Um. I should just grab three. I don't think there's really going to be anything down here that we're going to want. E-cooling plus one, eh. XL engine, eh. That would just be for sale. These would be for sale. NSS we've got already. SRM LKs. Yeah, let's just grab that. Gets us closer to a cataphract. And we got two grasshopper parts too. All right, and then junk. Ultra AC 10 ammo is about the best of this bunch. Okay, let's have a quick look. 52,000 repairs. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a bit. Took the big hit there at the end, unfortunately. Not much we can really do about that. Uh, but let's have a look at our pilots here. Before we end the episode, uh, we do have some experience to expend, so let's do that while we have a look. So we're going to start off with Griff. Uh, actually, we can't spend the experience, but we will have a look at the service record here. So, Griff, deployment 71, 66 kills. Okay, 46. What does other kills mean? Like, I guess turrets and stuff. Oh, that's mech kills, so this would be vehicles. So, total of 112 total. Alright, nine injuries taken. We took that really bad one, which put us out for a while, which is going to lower our deployments and stuff, but... Okay, so that's Griff. Let's have a look at Mocking... Well, let's, we'll do Mockingbird last. El Duce second. So his service record. Let's have a look here. So 77 deployments, 81 mech kills, and 50 other kills. So he's 131. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And then Blockade yep. has got 76 deployments, 75 mech kills, and 47 other kills. So, yeah, 100 and... What, 20... Two. Okay, so El Duce is above him. I thought this guy would have been above, but uh, one injuries. Okay, so let's have a look at Mockingbird now. Yes, just to see how murderous she is. So yeah, so deployments, uh, 74, 93 mech kills, and 41 other kills. So 134. Pretty darn good. So what was El Duce again? 81 of 50. Wow, so he's actually like a close second behind Mockingbird, and I'm thinking with that Ultra 20, man, he's going to be doing a lot more, too. So let's have a look at the Second Lance, too. So Shogun, the leader of the Second Lance, and there's not very many missions, 27 deployments, 14 mech kills, 13 other kills, Sundance, 
18 deployments, 16 kills, 16 other kills. That's actually pretty good for less deployments. Uh, I know six our uh, Shogun would, was subbed out for um, the injured pilots in the mainland, so yep. she's got more missions under her belt. And this guy's got 19 missions, 19 mech kills, 7 other kills. Okay, one for one. That's pretty good. Waiting on you, Commander. And, oh, okay, 18 deployments, 21 kills for Hannibal the Cannibal, but less other kills. So, yeah, pretty good overall, pretty good overall. And then the other two pilots haven't done anything because they're for order. Uh, not in the battles at all. All right, so between episodes, what I'll do is I'll get the mechs fixed up, fixed up, and we'll get the uh, points spent on our pilots, sell a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's just have a look at the planet here. I don't think we've done very much in the ways of helping out. We were at 75, 25, I think, before... And what are we at now? Oh, Jade Falcon 100%. Now, I don't know if that was us or there's somebody else here, too. Uh, Pride's Pride. All right. Let's see if anybody's on that we know. I only know a few people, so... Yeah, it looks like everyone's out for dinner right now. Groovy's Marauders are still there. Everybody's still over there. Looks like uh, these guys are mid-level clanners, most likely. Clan Wolf, Health Horses. Ah, Falcons are taking this planet too. Nice. Alright, so we're doing a bit of work here. I'm hoping that when 999 hits and this map gets refreshed, uh, the guys that are, um, you know, the Jade Falcon regulars, if we can take a bunch of this and head down this way, uh, maybe we can outrank Ghost Bear here and get all the way down into the Inner Sphere with Jade Falcon. But we'll have to see how that goes. That would kind of be nice if Wolf went this way. Took all this and Jade Falcon went this way and the Falcon and the Wolf met down in here. And uh, rather than battling each other, we were just battling the Inner Sphere. That would be kind of cool, but uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Alright, so we're going to leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop the like, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comments section down below. Also let me know what you think about the, uh, the loadouts for the Griffin and the Strix. Um, obviously we didn't get a chance to do very much with them today. Um, so I'm not really sure how well they're going to perform. My, my hope is that we can stay at long range and fire from long range, but we'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, until next time, we'll see you later.